Today we're going to go over indicating in a vise. Uh, a few things that you're going to need, and of course your air hose. I've got my stone, my cloth, my tea nuts, and my bolts. You want to go ahead and stone the table real good just to make sure there's no burrs or anything and do the same with the vise. Uh, that way it doesn't kick it one way or the other as far as it being parallel with your table. Okay, so basically I've set up my vise. I've put in my bolts and my T-nuts. Uh, this is a T-nut right here. As you can see, it slides into the grooves on the table itself to clamp things onto it. And this is my flange nut, which you can see it's got a built-in washer on it. And that's just to hold the vise down. Okay, so at this point I've got my indicator on here. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna move it in Y and zero it out. The reason I'm zeroing it on this side is that I have this bolt over here tightened up which gives me a pivot point. So say the vise is out 20 thou negative, I would hit, or 20 thou negative on this side. I would hit the vise with my mallet right here and that would rotate it this way. All right, so I've got it zeroed. I'm gonna go ahead and move to the right side. Okay, so I'm at negative about nine thou. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hit the vise on this side, which is gonna bring it around and pivot it towards me. So you bring this to zero, just as you had on the other side. Go back and get it pretty close. It's about a thou positive on this side. We'll go ahead and re-zero it. Let's move it back just to double check it. That's showing a little over a thou and a half. Just knock it in one more time. Snug up on this side just a hair. Make it just a little bit more rigid and then go through it one more time. And as you can see, that's right on the money. So we'll go ahead with the indicator on this side. I'll tighten up my loose bolt just to account for the vise moving at all whenever I tighten it up. We've got it zeroed out. Go across. And that's how you indicate in a vise. Thanks for watching.